We're working with heavy toxins, guys. Just keep breathing and breathing and breathing and breathing. I'm getting a little bit of a weird feeling in my hand. <laughs> To my channel where we take old clothes and make it fashion. As you may have suspected already, we're gonna upcycle this crazy blue shirt using no not scissors, acid and heat. Start with fighting this carton until you have a piece approximately as big as the shirt. Dispose the remainder carefully. Look here, an arrow. Anyway, I'm gonna put this car pot in between my shirt so that the acid will not leak through when I apply it. Then read the instructions of the acid carefully. I started to slowly realize that I never did that. But you know, there's just so many distractions here. They're finally not using their heavy machine, so they have to talk that loud. Anyway, it's 15 grams of powder with 100 grams of gel. I think I've been doing it always wrong. I already mixed some, but I took a really small pencil to apply it this time because it will kind of like bleed out in the fabric more. And please note how I carefully, well, at least when I remember to, avoiding all the buttons and all the buttonholes because we don't want them to fall out later. Am I already spilling? Wow. Well, that's okay. So I'm just gonna apply an irregular stripe pattern. Believe me, irregular is much easier. That's why I'm always doing it like that. And halfway through I'm realizing, hmm, maybe I can wear gloves. <laughs> apply a generous amount of serum, lotion or cream to your hand before entering the glove. Then take a ridiculous amount of time to get your big hand in the tiny glove. <laughs> and enjoy a hydrating hand mask. Because why not combine wellness with work? You better wellness, bitch. Like that, but it's best to wear some protective clothes, of course. Maybe some nice gloves. It's not that it burns in your hands immediately. Oh, it does say don't get it on your hands. I think that was not on there. I bought a new bottle and it may burn away. Soil? Oh, and there's Dutch on there as well. Oh, it does say you need to wear eye protection as well. That's new. Luckily my glasses are white. So remember that this acid burns away the cellulose fibers, which means it works best on materials that are mixed. For example, cotton polyester, like my shirt. I'm getting a little bit of a weird feeling in my hand. I'm getting a little bit hypochondric. Hypochondriac. Hypochondriac. We're working with heavy toxins, guys. And it's best to do a test first to see which threads are burning away. Usually it's either the horizontal or the vertical thread. I'm just gonna add some more kind of tiny strokes as well. Artistic stuff, guys. This is just top-notch coolness or something. Pigeons. Now hang the shirt to dry. A perfect moment to enjoy your new, fresh, soft, luscious hands. Many, many minutes later. I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe I was not thinking. Because I was doing it differently in my little test piece, but now I decided to iron it. Just in case you're wondering if the like camera is crooked or the ironing board. They both are, so <laughs> if you have the heat gun, you can just heat it up with the heat gun and you don't have to iron it first. The ironing resulted in already making the fabric more fragile. And when I went over it with the heat gun later, it would, you know, um, <laughs> you know, burn those things. Holes. Mm -hmm. Welcome home, honey. <laughs> So now I'm just gonna go over the fabric with the heat gun. So the last time I did my heat gun experiment, it was the first time I did it, and I had some holes. It was a bit smelly in the room. People were offended or something. Oh my god, that is so bad, burning plastic. Sue me. 
Fucking people saying to not watch the video because it was a waste of time. Well, I object. So let's heat up a little. So yeah guys, I thought it was clear, but sometimes I'm kind of sensationalizing my own videos a tiny little bit, accidentally on purpose. You know, juice it up a little bit. When I'm saying things like I'm dying from the smell in the room, it doesn't mean I'm actually dying. The smell is not that bad, guys. You can open the window. For all my people that are still watching and don't mind me dying from the toxic smell, thank you. I'm doing it for you guys. Oh my god, I was wrong. The fumes are killing my plants. They were right after all. These fumes are killing everything. Oh, Carlos? Coco? Chanel? Oh, okay, false alarm. No panic. The ducks are alright. I think I just forgot to water it. I'm sorry, my sweet succulent. If you didn't use the iron, which I advise you not to, then the heat gun should have made the brown stains in the fabric. And these you can wash away in the water so that the cotton fibers will dissolve. We're just gonna rub the fabric lightly, not too hard. It is definitely a fragile fabric now, so you have to treat it very delicately. But you need to apply a little bit of pressure to get all the brown out. And then I would advise to rinse it with some soapy water. And then you can hang it out to dry again. 3.28 a.m. So I think it turned out cool. Let me know your opinion. I never wear these colors. I'm wearing gray. I'm wearing this kind of sky blue. And the texture, it really reminds me of water and clouds. It feels like spring is in the air and it's in my shirt as well. So please let me know in the comments what you think. Please, if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And let's show it up.